gonna pick. He is not so sure about these weird flavors. So there's, I don't think I'm gonna have toasted hay in Saskatoon Berry or peanut butter and dill pickle. Those are actually Stampede series. So, and now there's a Tahitian vanilla bean, roasted strawberry buttermilk, lemon curd blueberry. There's still some classics there. Guess we'll find out. What did you get? Goat's milk and caramel, salted caramel. And, and vanilla. A vanilla. Bean. And then I got a, I think it was cookies and cream. It was called double cookies and cream and malted chocolate and honeycomb. So we're gonna test this out. So in the car because social distancing does not allow us to sit inside. Um, my ice cream, I like it, tastes really good. You can see there's some honeycomb waffle kind of in that chocolate mum. Curtis, how is your goat's milk with caramel? Pretty sweet. It's sweet? Yeah. It's not tart? No, it's like super sweet. Super sweet. Well, this ice cream is good. Last time I had it was in Calgary, and I believe Made by Marcus was actually um, a Calgary company. That's why they had the Stampede special. So if you're looking for it, you're not going to be able to see it right off of White Ave because it's kind of tucked away. You have to walk on White Ave and turn on where the Black Gate is and walk down there to be able to actually find it. So I don't know if it's a thing that Made by Marcus likes to do, but in Calgary, they're kind of off the beaten path as well. Um, definitely worthwhile checking out. Even with social distancing, they have all the labels to make sure you stay in the right direction. And there's still a ton of flavors. You just can't sample any of the flavors. And we decided to get cups, but you can get cones for adults. Okay, got cut off. Had a phone call while making a video. The life is in the middle of an offering. So anyways, just to wrap up, gotta go check out Made by Marcus. They do have some classic flavors, flavors that stay all the time and then they change out some. But affordability wise, love it. It's, uh, we had a single scoop split, which is pretty generous. And it was only $5 and then purse was $5, so we only paid $10. Super affordable, worthwhile coming to check out. And you should always go and support local, even if they're from a Calgary company.